Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're finally going to be testing the WGen 20,000. This is a 28,000 watt peak portable generator. We're going to be testing it out. I'm going to see if it will run my 5 ton AC. I'm going to show you a quick view of my 5 ton AC right now. Then we're going to come back. I already have everything plugged in. I have my meter so we can see what the AC finally pull when it comes on. Okay guys, real short video. I'm just going to sh show you that it will power a 5 ton AC being 28,000 watt. It'll power two 5 tons AC if it has to. But I'm just going to verify without a soft start. I am going to be installing a soft start on my AC system before I do the 9,000 watts. I just think that without a soft start, it's too much. You're going to pull right about 60, 70 watts, 70 amps. It's not right because any other load running, it will not do it. Something like this, it might do it. 9,000 is just not, it's just too much. So we will be installing a soft start. I already have it. That's coming soon. Okay, guys, let's get everything connected. Let me show you the inside. Okay, guys, I'm already connected to my inlet right here, 50 amp. And I already have this transferred. Generators turned on. Let's get the generator started. Turn on the AC load and see what it does. Okay, guys, so this is the five ton unit we're gonna be powering. I'm just gonna connect everything. I'm gonna come out here, kind of show you it's running. And it's gonna be a real quick video, just showing you that the WGen can power the whole house. And I don't think we have any doubt about that. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, first thing you do before you get started, shut off everything that needs to be shut off. I'll come over here, since I have solar, shut off my solar. Then I come to my panel. I can't turn on the generator inlet switch, so I have to shut off the main. Main is shut off. There you go. I'm off my battery box. Let me know that I have no power. That's the alarm. Put this up. Now I come to my inlet box and orient this correct. There you go. So we plugged into the generator. Now I can come up here. Turn off all my loads. You don't have to do this step. Okay, so first thing you do is come over here, choke. Generator goes down. Right there. Go. Come back over here and turn on the AC. This is my AC right here. Okay, I just turned on the AC. See, it's been off for a while, so it's hot in here. Turn it down to 72. Okay guys, AC's running. See that right there? Fridge is on. Five ton. Kitchen lights are on. Right now we have the entire house running. All lights, all fans, everything is on. Okay, at this point we're gonna turn everything off.
Okay, drops to about 69 when you turn on the eco mode. Okay guys, so we just tested the WGen 28,000 watt peak on my entire house, okay? And one thing I noticed is when this thing is running and the AC comes on or a heavy load comes on, there's absolutely no change, okay? So that's a pretty good thing. It runs right about 77 BBs, and when it's on eco mode, it goes right about 69. It's not a very loud generator if you think about it for what it puts out and what it can power. The next time we do this, I'm gonna try to power the entire house and the RV. Okay guys, so quick video. I know you guys wanted to see if this could power my house. The thing could power the entire house with absolutely zero issues. Okay, the sun's coming out, it's getting real hard to film this. So I'm gonna call it. Guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and more testing to come. Thanks guys, have a nice day.